Welcome to the art of memory and keepsake making. For many, this is the only thing they have to mark the existence of their baby. It's one thing we can do for them to help heal the pain. The ingredients used are dental supplies. Chromapan, used in making dental molds, is used to make the hand and foot impressions. The plaster is dental plaster, which has a firmer texture. Hobby plaster can be used, but there is an increased rate of breakage and remaking. Approximately one third cup chromopan mixed to a medium consistency will do for one hand or foot for a term baby. Use cooler rather than warmer water to mix as the warmer water gives you less time to beat out lumps before becoming too firm to take an impression. For 11 to 18 week babies, use a thinner mixture so the delicate fingers will leave a good impression. Try not to submerge their fingertips as they are impossible to fill properly. The more mature the baby, the thicker the batter as a term or near term baby naturally curls its fingers. Heels and palms sink with finger and forefoot tending to float, so be diligent in pressing fingers and toes down to level the hand or foot but not so far as to make contact with the bottom of the mold. A cupped hand is more appealing than a bowed back hand. Remove the appendage once the mold is a cooked egg white consistency. For castings, use a thin plaster mix. Tap tiny amounts into the fingertips to avoid air bubbles. Overfill the fingers to strengthen them. Stay within the edges of your mold as much as possible to save time and effort trimming later. Once filled and dry to touch, approximately 15 to 16 minutes, gently pry the castings free. The molds shrink with exposure to the air, so fingers may become trapped if left too long. Should a finger snap, dip both ends in water and then in a thin slurry, immediately sticking the ends together thus forming a plaster weld. Allow to dry. Trim overfill, blebs, and repair seams if any. Once you're happy with the end result, it's time to plate. Using a paper plate, fill it with a thick paste consistency of plaster. If the plaster is too thick, the surface will be too dry to accept the castings. If too thin, the castings will sink into oblivion. Place the hands and feet and you're done. All the best as you create a memory for a grieving family.